Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Dingle with the second single pot still release triple distilled Irish whiskey matured in bourbon, Oroloso and Pedro Jimenez casks. Non-filtered, non-chill filtered, wow. And um, there it is, the bottle. You know the green little stripe here means that it is the single pot still. Now, the only thing I haven't found out at the moment, at least, is what does that mean? Does it mean 40% um, unmalted barley, or does it mean 60% or 50%? The good thing I liked about the, um, <clears throat> the tealing, um, first um, single pot still release was that they actually said 50% unmalted, 50% malted barley. I haven't found anything. Now, um, I like Dingle. I like the distillery. I like the philosophy. There's actually a um, YouTube channel, uh, Dingle Distillery. There's one video up there. It was published in August of 2018. Um, about 250 people watched it so far. Um, I was the first one to comment on it. And um, they show the entire process. They show the entire um, hand bottling, hand labeling, hand boxing, um, the entire process here of actually cleaning out the mash tons and so on. And it's very, very interesting. The dream was Oliver Hughes, uh, Liam Lahart, and Peter Mosley. His name is on each and every bottle as the master distiller in November 2012. Their dream became a reality and they decided to have their distillery. And then 2017, the first batch number one arrived. Now, I do have batch number two here. Um, the batch number two second small batch release of the triple distilled with the um, bourbon Ololoso Pedro Jimenez casks which I'm going to actually compare with it I have a tiny 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 wee little bit in here um oh this is the wrong bottle by the way this is the right bottle so and I'm going to actually compare the two of these today and what I have here is probably the best dingle bottle I've ever had <clears throat> this is the Founding Fathers Mr. Whiskey cast number 149. This was bottled actually at um, cast strength 59.5% after three years. This was fantastic. I bought, unfortunately, only I was able to buy only two of these bottles. I did a bottle uh, share with this and the rest of this is going to stay with Papa. This is the best Dingle whiskey ever. And the last but not least... Um, is I can actually do this. Let's let's do this as a picture here. La all four bottles. Um, this is actually bought batch um, single malt batch number three, which was in the port casks. I like batch number one the best. I couldn't buy a bottle of that, but I did have a sample that was the very 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 first video I ever did in English, and so that's why Dingle is also a little bit um. Very, very close to my heart. I'm going to visit you one day, people. I promise I'll make it there someday, but there's only so many days in the year and only so many possibilities to fly over, have enough vacation to do a nice little interview with you and so on and find out what's going on. All right, so I'm going to compare the single malt um, batch number two with um, bourbon Oroloso and Pedro Jimenez with the batch number two, um, second single pot, pot still release. The first pot still release, I actually also did a review about. That was also a sample. I went into the Porterhouse Bar in um, Dublin. I said, would you happen to have the um, single pot still um, release a dingle? Yes, of course we have it. I said, oh, could I please have a dram? And he said, yes, of course. He pulled out a glass. He said, no, 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 I have a little sample bottle. He said, okay, no problem. Filled it up like four CLs. And he said, I think 16, 18 euros. I was so happy to actually have a dram of that because it was impossible to buy over here in Germany. Um, if you actually calculate four CLs, um, times, um, let's just say it was 15, 16 euros, we're running a price around um, 300 euros um, for a bottle, which would be about 400 almost dollars. <laughs> and I was happy. By the way, 95 euros. 
So 120, 125 dollars, not bad. Um, so I'm so happy that this arrived in Germany. We're so privileged. I have bottle number 1,343, and I have no idea how many bottles there were. I do know that there was a um, almost everywhere a one bottle limit per person that you could buy. I actually did a bottle share with this, so this is gone. And since I know the distributor, um, Mike, Mareike Spitzer, very well. She said, Jason, do the bottle share with everyone, and then you can have your own bottle as well. I was like, thank you. That was so kind. So I do have my second bottle, and I'm going to wait a little bit with this. All right, so try this. I know exactly my problem. All right, so now what happened in my career with dingle is the following i tried batch number one i fell in love it was hawaiian punch in a whiskey glass and it was so fantastic um the founding fathers is hawaiian punch in a glass at cast strength it's so fantastic i just love it i just love that natural ex bourbon cask in those nice fruit how um, tropical fruit notes um, it's just fabulous. It's very, 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 very good. And then, in my personal opinion, what Dingle did is, hey, let's take some first fill sherry butts and let's just put the whiskey in there. And the problem is with first fill sherry butts, it's too intensive. It's just too much. And I think this was the problem we had. The first um, release of the pot still, um, single pot still Irish whiskey was exclusively in Pedro Jimenez casks and it just was too much I remember it was like oh yeah mm. and I did recognize a lot a lot of potential for the future and the same things happening here um, with these mixtures of the um, Ololoso as well as the PX casks and the bourbon casks they've toned it down a little bit but yet, if I would have been the master distiller, if I would have been the master blender, I would have taken twice as many bourbon casks to the amount of sherry casks and just toned it down a little bit. The same thing, by the way, with version number three, and that's the question for myself, is will there also be a version number three of the um, single pot still, um, also with a port? That'd be very interesting to hear. Now, the last thing of my ranting and raving, <laughs> what I, for some reason, I know what reason, dislike, is that Dingle has decided to release normal, 46.5%, and cast strength. So you have a couple thousand in each batch of these. It could be up to 10,000 or 20,000 or just 2,000. And that's just fine. I mean, a small batch is a small batch. What really rubs me the wrong way is the couple hundred of bottles that you actually release in cast strength. Because these bottles usually are never opened. They're actually only sold on auctions, they're ornaments. I will never be able to find one of these. At least I haven't been so far and I've been able to find every single batch that's been out there. <laughs> except for the cast strength. Because they're unicorns and why are you creating this artificial exclusivity for something that's not necessary? Why didn't you just make a few more of the normal? Why do you have to have the cast strength? I know cast strength is great, but later on, later on, not at the beginning. Um, and that's what, if it's just a couple hundred, you're not going to satisfy the itch. Um, just not there, just not enough of them. And so if it was a couple thousand in cast strength, hey, I could consider that. Give me a 6,000 batch cast strength, and I'm going to say go for it. But a 245 bottle cast strength? Uh, no. <laughs> and that just, just, just ruins my day. I'm sorry. All right, going back here. I do get the pot still spice. Very weak. I do get a little bit of barrel char over here, and both of those, that sherry monster is just trying to encompass all the other flavors. It just roars up its head and takes over dominion of the entire glass. And that just happens when you use sherry casks that are not yet second fill. Just too much, too quick, too soon. Let's try it.
Mm. Yeah, potential, a lot of potential, but not yet there. I'm still going to give this a B, solid B. Um, it's an excellent grade in my book, by the way. Um, it's a strawberry, um, Glen Dronach, 12-year-old type of sherry moment. If you've ever had the Glen Dronach 10, 12-year-old, go back to it. Think strawberry and then think sherry and you'll get exactly mm, yep it's that it's that strawberry moment it's a it's almost like those little wa wa forest strawberries you could get those tiny little ones and pop them in your mouth in may and june mm, very very nice mm -hmm. absolutely not absolutely nice i'm really 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 looking forward to an eight-year-old version Imagine that single pot still, eight years old. Mm, mm, good. I can only imagine that. They have a warehouse. Um, there's capacity for almost 9,000 casks at the moment, at least at the end of 2018. If I understood correctly, the summer of 2018, they had 6,000 casks in there already, which is unbelievable if you consider that they're making two casks a day, apparently. And that would actually be... Um, uh, two casks a day, 365. Let's just go to 800 casks that, that a year. And they started in 2012, which is basically six years ago. Nah, they're making more than two casks a day. I'm sorry. If you got 6,000 casks in there, you're doing at least four casks a day or even more now. All right. Um, whiskey base number 121565, if everyone's anyone's interested. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I would prefer the um, single malt with the sherry, even though that sherry is a little bit too strong. Exactly the same problem here. Um, but that spiciness of the pot still is not yet what it could and should be. But yet, as I said, in eight years, um, an eight-year-old, so in five years' time, this could actually be um, a competition for the red breast. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> um, Whiskey Jason here. I paid 95 euros for this. 120 euros, 120 dollars. So I'm going to still give it a C plus because I think. Um, oh yes, 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 yes. Um, even on my on German channel, I gave this little tip. Scotch drinkers, bourbon drinkers, even Irish drinkers out there, if you can find a bottle of this for the 100 euro mark, buy it. Don't buy it necessarily to put on an auction site. Don't buy it necessarily to drink. Go to a bar, find a friend, do a bottle share, whatever. But put it away for a year, maybe two, and then go to your local whiskey um, table or your local whiskey um, association and just pull out the bottle and then one to two years and say, hey, I got the second pot still release. Anyone want to trade? And they're going to be pulling out Port Charlotte from who knows when, Brooklady from who knows when. They're going to pull out the big stuff and go, here, I would love to trade with you. And I'm sure you're going to get better value for money in that trade than you would have actually selling this someplace else. So go buy yourself some dingle and just put it away. And then wait a year or two and just go, hey, anyone interested? And the way the market's going definitely i feel a little bit like a ralphy giving the tips at the moment <laughs> all right whiskey jason here whiskey from the viewpoint of an american in germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys bottle 1343 dingle come on single pot still second release eh, very much um exotic and rare and it's a pleasure to be able to actually have tried all of these different things thank you very much for watching please like please subscribe please share please tell others about this crazy american over in germany getting to try all this irish whiskey and a lot of other exotic and rare stuff thank you bye bye